Police need your help tonight to find a murderer. On Monday, a long-haul truck driver was found shot to death inside his truck in East Nashville. <laughs> What's poppin' M2T? It's your boy Run on the channel to be. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe button whenever you hop up on the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification button. So whenever your boy drop, you can hop up in the truck, roll with me, and see what's going on. Today, I come to you guys with a heavy heart. I've been informed that last week one of our brothers was found shot dead in his truck. Check it out. Police need your help tonight to find a murderer. On Monday, a long haul truck driver was found shot to death inside his truck in East Nashville. Andy Cordan has been looking into the story. He joined us now in studio with what we know. Andy. Yeah, guys, I called the driver's trucking company today and the woman who answered the phone, she was very emotional. She told me they didn't just lose an employee Monday. They lost a member of their family. There's still crime tape on Lucas Lane, where police say 37-year-old David White is found shot to death in his truck. According to investigators, the North Carolina man is last seen inside the travel center, buying food around 7.20 Sunday night. When the long-haul trucker does not check in, White's company asks truck stop employees to check on their driver. That's when they make the gruesome discovery. Very heartbreaking. Though truckers at the lot did not know David White. Out to his family, my condolences. When told one of their brothers had been shot and killed here, the men we speak to feel the pain. They could be dangerous anywhere. You don't really know. My heart sank and just thoughts and prayers go to the, the driver's family. What kind of community do you have, a fellowship of sorts? I mean, we all try to make sure we taking care of each other on the road and stuff like that. We try to stick together and look out for one another and... Yeah, it's sad to hear one of our brothers is felon. Can it be a dangerous place? I mean, well, we drive everywhere, so you don't really know anybody or anywhere you go. So just be safe out here. A lot of crazy people, crazy things going on. When you see that truck now, you know the company. What's going to go through your mind and heart? Did they find out who did that to him? Now, what clues the cops have is not exactly clear, but I can tell you there is a $5,000 reward for information about the murder. First and foremost, we want to send our condolences to Brother David's wife, family, friends, and loved ones. Our prayers are with you guys. I mean, I'm just trying to, I'm just wondering, M2T, like, what happened? You know, I... He's, he's found shot dead in his truck. Like, was somebody in his truck? You know, I mean, this is about seven, eight o'clock in the, in the evening at Love's in Nashville, Tennessee. This is Tuesday of last week. Was somebody in his truck? You know, did he have words with somebody? You know, was it a robbery? You know, this is this was a young brother. This man was 37 years old. Our brother was 37 years old, young. Out here working hard, trying to take care of his family, just like we do. You know, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm wondering, like, you know, I'm just, it's a thousand things that's going on in my mind. Like, how can a trucker be found dead, shot dead in his truck? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know the area too well. I have been through Nashville, Tennessee. It's not my normal route, but I have been through that way. You know, I've never laid over that way, so I don't know like the area. You know, what I'm saying I don't know if it's urban, suburban. I don't know if it's hood. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's what. You know, you know, because some of these truck stops do be like in 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 high crime populated areas. You know. So I'm wondering, like, was he in a high crime populated area, you know? And as you guys can see, like, the news, it, it seemed like, it, you know, the truck was, like, parked on the side street.
by love. So, you know, it must have been full and he had to park on the side. Like, that's that's another thing, guys. You know, you know, I always try to, if you can't do nothing, I always try to park inside the truck stop. I always try to do that. You know, I'm even leery of parking at the truck parking um, spaces that they have along the highways. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm leery of those at times. You know, but parking on the side streets and stuff, a lot of times, you know, a lot, you, every, you can't, nobody can really watch and see what's going on with you. When you're in a truck stop, you got people around you. You know, you know, you got people that's right there with you, you know, so it's hard for anything to happen. You know, you know, I'm, I'm just wondering, man, like, you know, what happened to our brother David, you know. Um, guys, be safe out there, man. You know, when you get in them trucks, lock your trucks. Lock them doors, first and foremost. Lock your doors, you know. You know. And like I said, I always try to park inside the truck stop because it's lights, it's video. You know, I always try to do that, you know. Um, I mean, even if you carry, you know. If, if you license, if you're licensed to carry, keep your, keep your, 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 keep your gun close to you, man. You know, this is America. Everything is, it's crazy right now, you know. It's crazy, you know. So if you if you carry, keep that thing close to you, man. You know, I'm just gonna keep it real with you, truckers. Because at the end of the day, you know, we all wanna get back home to our families. You know. Um It's just a sad situation, man. You know, it was in the evening time. You know, it was in the evening time. They say he had just left the left out from buying him some food, you know. Job tried to reach him. Y'all saw the clip, you know, just like I seen it, you know. And they go do a well checkup on him, send loves, and, and and this is how they find our brother. You know, um, you know, I'm trying to think, did he did somebody try to rob him or something? I'm just trying to figure it out, y'all. Like it's it's gotta make sense, you know. Um, we are a community, you know, and it's our due diligence to look out for each other you know i am my brother's keeper and my sister keepers you know for my my women truckers out there you know um it's just a sad situation it's a sad moment on this day you know you know you know um if anyone was in the nashville tennessee area tuesday of last week and you know it's around 7 or 8 p.m at the loves if you just, you know, you think you may have heard something, you know, it's possible you seen something that wasn't looking normal quite right around that time, please reach out to the Nashville, Tennessee Police Department. Um, they even have a reward for the helping and leading up to an arrest for our brother David White's murder. Uh, and you can remain anonymous if you want to as well. So reach out to them and let them know, you know, you know what it is that you saw if you was up around in those parts last week on Tuesday. Um, that could have been one of us, guys. Easily. It could have been one of us. So let's do our part and and help our brother uh, David's white family bring justice for David. All right? David, we love you, man. Rest in peace. You know, our prayers are with your family. Truckers, be safe. Until next time, it's your boy. Thank you, Andy. If you have anything to share with police, that Crime Stoppers number is 615-74-CRIME. I just got in a whole brand new bag. I'm running around the like Hey, jewelry moving like juice. I can go to the Look, I just leveled up, I thank God.